Hi, this is Jack Freudenheim. I'm going to show you how to create a soundscape like this using Tibetan symbols and a Tibetan bowl, sounder, and reason as our uh, sampling device, sample and playback. So I'm going to start this from scratch. So first I will minimize sounder and let's uh, just start a brand new project in Reason. This is Reason 5, but Reason 6 works the same and at least as well. So um, let's get rid of these things. Just do File New. And um, we don't need the mastering suite, so we'll just get rid of that to keep things clean. And I'm going to fold up the uh, mixer. And so first let's just create a uh, simple sampler, the NN19. And I'm going to right click and initialize the patch so no, no samples are loaded. And um, what I'm going to do now is um, press the sampling button. It starts recording immediately. And let's start by hitting the Tibetan bowl with the tap. And now I'm going to shrink this guy down and um, create a new one. We'll do three of these. So I'm going to quickly create another one. Again, initialize the patch. Record. This time we're going to do the uh, swipe. Okay, the third one. With Tibetan symbols. So let's initialize the third one and record there too. All right, now the next thing we can do is um, edit these samples. So I'm going to go into the, um, open up the tool window and look at my samples and choose edit. You should be able to hear it. And we can trim that down quite a bit. Normalize it. And OK, that looks good. Let's name that symbol. And then let's look at the second one. Start somewhere around here. Let's try cross fade loop on that and um, normalize. So let's try this. Can we fade it in? These buttons don't seem to work. I haven't figured them out yet. 
All right, let's just go ahead with this with this sound and crop it and name it swipe. And then now we'll go on to the third one. That looks good. Like bold. Okay, so that's done. Um, next thing we want to do is in the MIDI setup, uh, we're going to set channel 1 to be sampler 1, channel 2 to be sampler 2, and channel 3 to be sampler 3. Now when we start s sounder going, uh, by default the first um, space that you open goes to, to the first channel and we're going to MIDI yoke 1, which I explained how to do, how to set up MIDI yoke in a prior tutorial. Basically, any MIDI coming out of here is going to be routed through MIDI yoke into, into Reason. And if you go into Reason Preferences, by the way, and look at the uh, Advanced, you can see that my bus A is taking the input from MIDI yoke 1. So now let's create a uh, sounder object. Okay, so that is triggering sampler number one. And this delay that you're seeing between the time that it hits is because of the uh, recording, screen recording software is kind of slowing down the responsiveness. Now if we want to, we can always take it an octave down, maybe give it a little randomness. Maybe randomize the, uh, the volumes a little bit too. change the size of the window, maybe create a second object in here. Maybe that one will be, go a little bit higher. And let's create another sound space going to channel 2. So that should automatically be routed to our second uh, sampler. minimize this one so that we only hear this one. I'd like to bring this one way down and see how it sounds. Maybe we'll bring it up a bit. Okay, let's um, minimize this and create our third our third window, and that's going to number three. I like that sound a lot. Let's put a couple more in there. This alone might make a nice piece, um, but let's bring in all three. thing you might want to do in Reason is um, select the mixer, create a nice reverb, you might want to set to um, something big, um, let's go to the just crank up some reverb on these. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and know that you can get Sounder at sounder.com. And you could try this out with Reason with their, their free trial version. Um, or buy it at propellerhead.se. Thanks a lot.